This seems pretty big. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Not what we were after, but I will take it. Diamond Brut Trout. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Darth Sloan, and I am your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And we are out here trying to catch some Brut Trout. As you saw earlier, we got that diamond in a spot that wasn't known for diamonds for Brut Trout. But that is the same place that I caught my cutthroat trout during King of the Catch. And let's see if we can't add another root trout. We'll be looking at that spot here in a little bit. We're starting at one of the known locations right now. And I am fishing with a number six spoon. Now, another way that you can fish for these is by float and with eggs. Let's see what we've got here. Because sometimes you will hook into a rainbow trout. And we have our first brook trout of the day, 1.29 silver. They do not get very big. They only get, uh, well, my diamond was a 7.95. So we're using the six spoon. You can also use a spinner, but you will catch some rainbow trout when you do that. And I do apologize if I sound a little, a little stuffy because I am a little under the weather. But... We got to get this content out there to you guys. But let's look at the location that we are at right now. We are just to the northeast of Mallard Step. And this is a reported root trout diamond location. I would imagine you could catch them on both sides of the of the bridge. And you could probably catch them on down the, the bank. Just keep on walking up and down the bank and casting and seeing what you can what you can find. We see the brook trout here, spoon, spinner, eggs. Those are the three that I am ready to use today. Let's look through traits. Easily spooked, get scared by human presence. Jumper, last stand, sun lover. Okay. So we're using eggs. Now with eggs, you will eliminate the rainbow trout, which is good. All right, guys, we've got a bite here. I switched to the egg. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've hooked into a little bit bigger of a brook trout, 2.97. I am using number six. Now, with number six, you're going to get silvers and above. Didn't take too long. And I do want to mention that that diamond that you saw caught earlier was caught on eggs all right guys we're out here um probably just hooked into a river potato <laughs> we switched to the number seven spinner we're at our second location oh actually this is not this might be a cutthroat yeah, this is a cutthroat trout. We've got a 6.38. That's going to be the thing. It's hard to eliminate different types of trout. Uh, seems like you can eliminate a, a rainbow trout or something, but it's tough to... They're going to bite. The cutthroat's going to bite. Horrid trout. You know, I mean, just the different types of trout are going to bite relatively the same types of baits. But that's the thing, as I caught my diamond cutthroat and my diamond brook on egg, so... Either way you go, spoon, spinner, you're going to be catching different types of trout. We are at the second location here. See brick trout here, but also cutthroat trout diamonds. South of full stomach. We started off down here at Mallard Step. Now we're south of full stomach. And then I'm going to be showing you next. I'm going to be showing you where I caught my diamond, which is not on Discord. Let's see what we've got here. Give us something else. It's like a river potato. Yep. 9.91 pound rainbow trout. Unfortunately.
All right, let's see what we've got here. Now I did drop to a number seven egg. I wasn't getting any bites on the number six. Sometimes you have to catch the small ones to make room for the bigger ones to spawn in. Let's see what we have, have caught here. All right, we caught another cutthroat trout, bronze 2.31. So this second spot didn't catch a lot of brook trout, but it could be the time of day, 1722. There may not be as many brook trout in here, but it is possible to catch a diamond brook trout here. Not my favorite spot. So far, I like this spot really good, but let's go to where I caught my diamond brook trout and cutthroat trout. Let's see, I've got it labeled cutthroat trout there. But it is Blackfoot Basin to the east of Blackfoot Basin. Summon you a vehicle. Then I would go ahead and cross the bridge when you get over there as well. Or we are at my third location. And again, this isn't labeled Brook Trout, Brook Trout Diamond, but this is where we caught it. A day or two before we caught the cutthroat down. And I don't even know if the cutthroat is labeled in the the discord but i've caught them all over this now there are lake trout in here as well the areas that i like to fish are down on this end closer to the bridge over toward those rocks over to the bank just in this area general area in front of us here is where i like to fish for cutthroat and brook but now i've caught them all over this lake but it seems like i get more bites down this way And let's see what we've hooked into here. Oh, 3.53 pound brick trout. Again, this is, this is my spot. This is the, just getting a boat. I drove my vehicle across the bridge there, come over here, summon a boat. Right here, right, right in between. This area right here is where I like to fish. Now, I have caught them through here. Catch a lot more lake trout over in this area, but uh, I have caught them right through here. Another bite right here. Let's see what we've hooked into this time. I mean, it could be cutthroat. It's not going to be a uh, rainbow because we're using eggs. Eggs are my preferred. Oh, oh, that's a cutthroat. Four point two one. Eggs are my preferred because of how you just get so many so many rainbow let's uh show you what i'm talking about i think i'm using a spinner yeah i will probably catch a rainbow right here right here i mean just it's probably going to happen like this this real i'll be shocked if it doesn't <laughs> rainbows just if it's spinner or spoon it just seems like the rainbows just light it up. Guarantee it's a rainbow. And I may have just used reverse psychology and talked myself into this fish here. Who knows? Well, it's not a rainbow. Oh, we've caught a bronze kokanee. I forgot that kokanee are in here as well. But you'll catch brookies, rainbow, kokanee, cutthroat, lake trout. Now, I don't know... I don't know about the kokanee or the lake trout if they can make diamond here or not. I know Brooks and Cutthroat can because I've caught both of those animals. Let's see what we've hooked into here. Now this is the number seven spinner. This might be another kokanee. So the kokanee likes the spinner here. Let's see what happens when we switch to the spoon. But the rainbow tend to be a uh, slow moving fish. Now what have we caught here? But this lake is very good if you want to just come and catch some fish. There's a lot of fish in this lake. You just don't know which type's going to buy it first. Uh, looks like it's probably a rainbow. Oh no. Oh it's a juvenile. The smallest lake trout ever. But now if you're in a competition like I will be on Tuesday nights. This is going to be a tough lake to fish because I can't target brook trout. So you really need, when you're in a competition, 
you need to find spots where just that fish bites. So there's us a rainbow. I knew we'd get a rainbow. Or at least more so than not. Because like, you know, we've caught one brick trout since we've been here. And that was on eggs. That was on eggs. I just really have a whole lot better luck on eggs, it seems like, when going for brook. So, let's see what we've caught here. But it really has been every cast. We've been here, we've caught something. Well, that's not a brick trout. That's an orid trout. <laughs> you really can catch about anything in here. So, the eggs, most definitely, is what I would use. Uh, and, and I've caught, that's what I caught my diamonds on. So this is definitely a great spot to fish. You don't know what you're going to catch there. I mean, you catch brooks, but you catch so many different fish there. Uh, it's kind of like Magic Pond. I call it the Mag Pond. It's not Magic Pond, but it's it's the Mag Pond for me. If you would, do me a favor. Please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell if you have not yet. That really helps the channel. And we're, our channel is taking off. It's starting to grow a little bit. And I may end up starting to stream more over on YouTube. My YouTube streams are on Tuesday nights when we have the Tackle Tuesday. My other streams are on Twitch right now. Usually 5 p.m. Eastern time. Darth underscore Sloan. Uh, weekends are kind of hit and miss. Uh, it's hunting season right now. And uh, Sundays are pretty solid at 8 a.m. But that's over on Twitch. Darth underscore Sloan. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all, and we will catch you in the next video.